it got to the point in this little situation ship uh that i had feelings for this person oh i hate how this ended no it's not all because i avoided for so long for so long and like she kept telling me like no yo like like I, I, I'm trying to turn this into something like long term, mm-hmm. and I was just like kept avoiding it because I didn't want to. Mm, you know, yeah. I was like, I did. I was like, I know. I, know. I was like, I was like, why can't we just like fuck and not bring emotions into it? But you had emotions, so the emotions were already there. The elephant was in the room. Why we gotta address the motherfucker? How how would you feel if you're the elephant and somebody's like, look at that big ass motherfucking elephant? I would feel self conscious as the elephant. I would own it. Mm. <laughs> I would own it. Look at me, I'm a big pretty bitch. That's 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 the option. But you know, maybe 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 the elephant's feeling a little ashy that day and the elephant doesn't want to be addressed. No, actually. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Because who is thinking about how the elephant is dressed? What elephant do you know puts on clothes? And say <laughs> cartoon character and and I'm turning the camera off. You said what? I said if you say a cartoon character, <laughs> I'm turning the camera off. I'm really trying to think who is an elephant that is a cartoon character. That no, get back into your story. Okay, okay. Uh-uh. So, 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 so. Um, at the end of this, I realized like, okay, like I do have feelings for her, and so I tried to tell her I had feelings. Um, and she dead ass looked at me, and she was like, "Don't you think it's a little too late for that?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just told you I had feelings and you just said that. Fair though, because this went on for two years. I was gonna I was just about to ask you how long. Two years you had someone strung along and then you decided? Girl. Toxic. Hear me out. Toxic. You say- Toxic. Hmm. Toxic. Honey, two years? Two years? You know it tastes to the tango. It tastes to the tango though, because it's just like I, this is me as a person dealing with somebody for two years and i just now want a relationship like i'm gonna hold it on you know not like they say address the elephant in the room she said why i dress the elephant in the room that big elephant big it know it's big that elephant know it's big it's been big all his life even when it was a baby it was big it was bigger than all the other animals in the safari it was bigger than all the other zoo animals that was next door it's been big all his life it's been very aware that it's big like the weather up here is different it knows like what are we doing everyone in the room knows right now like what are we doing it went on for two years bro what is that i don't know what that is two weeks usually you know i'll say two weeks and then you're in a relationship you know, on this side of the road. So, two years, friend? That's wow. <laughs> now, now she wants a relationship. Now you feel it's, it's time to tell that you have feelings for this person. After two years, I would hope so. I don't know. Because, you know, I'm, I'm speaking as a woman. But I, I heard that men can, you know, are like that too. But I feel like women have that ability too to just cut off their feelings and it, it be just a physical thing i feel like that's the thing too because you know they say guys are like that like especially when they come to cheating well women we we are emotional cheaters i heard you know i heard i am a woman ah! yo yeah so i am um, wow because i'm just thinking about it right now me sleeping freaking with somebody messing with somebody having a booty call having a a, a jump off for two years it's very possible it's very possible. Two years, I'm just jumping off with you. Jumping in the bed with you. Like, I can see that. But right now, I'm just, it's also the age thing, too. Could I do that right now at the age I am? I guess if you're all highly aware that if you're a jump off, you're not the only jump off. So, I, I can see that for two years. But that's crazy, friend. I can't even imagine somebody after two years was like, well, yeah, I can. Because that makes sense. Uh, somebody would be like, after two years, I have feelings for you. That makes a lot of sense. That's why I was just like, I couldn't do that. Because two years, I know you obsessed. <laughs> like, after two minutes, you're obsessed. Like, that's why y'all are back. Right. Hi, hit that subscribe button. Ah! Stay obsessed. Stay obsessed. So, yeah, two years. Oh, I know you're about to be t- crazy toxic. Crazy toxic. Because, honey, two years of this good, good? Because you know what me? Huh, 
every time is a new experience. It just gets better and better. So just think about that for two years of just getting better and better and better for two years. Oh, bruh. Bruh. You over there on oh, life support when I leave, honey. Like, what are we doing? So, Frank, yeah, you're very toxic for that. Just realizing that, hey, I have feelings and I want to tell you about the feelings. <laughs> it's not just sex for me. It's feelings too. Like, girl, what? What? <laughs> I, I'm still in disbelief on both sides of the table. Because how are you with somebody for two years and you have feelings for this person and you ain't trying to move? Well, I guess it's different because you could be like that. You just don't want to lose that person. So you just carry on with the shenanigans for two years. But honey, no, nah, no, nah, bro, no. Nah. Okay, story time. So I work in a bank and there was this guy that was working there. what I fought for years living out loud like that that was sweet that was full circle moment probably for her like wow like I love that and she was just like yeah I see you I love you and I appreciate you I feel like that was her saying that that's so sweet I love that I love that friend I love that for you friend I'm glad you shared that story because that was beautiful a single day and a single conversation can change your life. This is the story of how 10 years ago today, my life changed forever. It's the day I met Christina. Yay! It's <laughs> anniversary, babe. Story time. I like to think of it as the anniversary of the day that I first learned to challenge my fears. This is a story for you. If you're in a place in your life where you feel stuck, you need a reassuring hug from someone who's been there before. It was April 9th, 2014. Up until that point, I had never dated a woman. I had never got on a Tinder date and I had never been in a serious relationship. I literally took my phone a week prior and I moved the nodule over to say, attracted to men and women. So I was doing the double swipe as they call it. I remember swiping right to her and I remember being intrigued because I saw the island of Crete. I was like, wow. I said, this girl must be Cretan. But there was no way for me to know that unless I actually reached out. It literally took me like six hours to get the guts up to send this first message, right? The first message was, are you really a Cretan girl on Tinder? And I said it in Greek so that I could test to see if she spoke Greek because that was important. I know that's how you did that. Yeah. Here's the conversation if you don't believe us. 11-11, April 9th, 2014. Which we didn't realize was 11-11 until like years later. Insane. April 9, we swipe, we chat, and then we move over to text like instantly. And then I remember texting Christina every day and five days go by and it's a Sunday and randomly I get this message from her like, hey, my friends just bailed on me. It's like six o'clock. She's like, would you want to come meet me in the city for a drink? And I'm like, oh, 
cool. I said, great. Do you want to go to this bar in Tribeca? It's called War 3. Bam. It was the easiest setting up plans I had ever experienced before. It took me over an hour to do makeup that I normally would be able to do in 10 minutes because I just sat and stared at myself because what the hell do women like? What was I supposed to show up as? I had already weeks prior cut my hair. I didn't wear lipstick on this date because I was so confused. I didn't even really know if it was a date it's called facing every fear and every unknown that you've ever had and literally running towards the thing that scares you more than anything. And that's where I was. Walking into Ward 3 in Tribeca, I'm literally like sweating profusely and I'm like tapping random women at the bar because I had not seen Christina other than her Tinder pictures. We had not FaceTimed. We had not even spoken on the phone. And finally I find her. She had this swagger. <laughs> you were confident. It's like I was a, uh, you know, figuring out how to put makeup on for the first time, like in the analogy of like a beginner. We get our own drinks, we sit down, and we literally sat at that table at that bar for like, I think it was almost eight, nine hours. We closed the bar down. We spoke about a beauty brand. I told Christina I was gonna launch a beauty brand one day. I was literally like pitching her live. And she was just listening and she just looked at me like dead set in the eyes like, I think you could do better. I did. It was Kink Cosmetics and I still have product ideas from 10 years ago that I think would be insane. Sitting on an old Google Doc. <laughs> But more importantly is the conversation that Christina and I had next. And that's the conversation that we had about lipstick. I challenged Christina in that moment because she felt that lipstick was in a way frivolous, dare I say, insignificant. I just didn't have any role models that were using it. It's true. But the beauty of what happened that night, we both were challenging each other in a respectful way. As the night progressed, we were doing this dance with each other of challenge being open to receiving the challenge. There was someone sitting across from me who had the same idea ideas that I did. Being so motivated to change the world in some capacity because you wanted to start a nonprofit. I did. We well, had these really beautiful moments and then the bar closed. Seven hours <laughs> felt like 30 minutes. And we talked about everything. I knew it wasn't going to be the last time we saw each other, but I had no idea if the date went well because it felt more like the beginning of the best relationship I was ever going to have in the sense of a friendship. Mm. But I also knew that I was feeling things that you wouldn't feel for your friends. And it was too late to take the bus home. So Christina, being the very chivalrous, amazing woman that she is, drove me <laughs> to a taxi stand and waited for me to get into a cab. And I took a cab. I remember sitting in that cab and trying to rationalize what had just happened. But the most important part of that cab ride home and the most important part of this story is the bravery and the courage to understand a single day and a single conversation that opens up your mind to view things differently can change your life. And this has nothing to do with who you're dating necessarily at all. This is a metaphor and a symbol for how you should be navigating your life. And if we all connected through lipstick and makeup, beauty, that's what makes this story even better. I've said this before in story times, that every time I've opened myself up and been vulnerable and chase the thing that scares me the most. And you all know what that is. Think about the things that scare you in your jobs, in your relationships, in every aspect of your life. And those are the things that you actually have to chase because those are the things that are actually gonna help you find who you are and the discoveries of the life that you want. Had I not met Christina and we play this game all the time, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. This is a person who has pushed me and helped me grow and evolve in every way possible from the day that we met. Look at the possibilities. Five years into that date, we built a beauty brand. Didn't know what the hell we were doing. Very, very ignorant. <laughs> but we did because we told each other we would. Five years after building that beauty brand, we built this community. And we're here now. As the lipstick lesbians. As the lipstick lesbians. After 10 years ago, talking about lipstick being a powerful tool for all of us to use as a mode for expression, but not just the lipstick itself, but the symbolism of what the lipstick can be. And for us here today, it's not just the lipstick and it has nothing to to do with being a lesbian, but it has everything to do with chasing your biggest, deepest, darkest fears and how we can all come together through this common thread of beauty as community and find so much more meaning behind these lipstick bullets and these eyeshadows. We're all here to learn and challenge each other and grow. We're all dating you. <laughs>
Even if you're learning about a new product, you're opening up your mind to something that scares you, which is a baby step in the right direction of how you're gonna start to change your life to go towards the things you want. We don't know where we're gonna be five years from now, but we do know that we want you all to come with us on that journey. There is so many beautiful lessons that we wanna share with you so we can all grow and evolve together. And the thread is all just a lipstick. I don't know which one of y'all needed to hear that, but I needed to hear that. Like, literally, like, that was just talking to my soul. Like, honestly, with this YouTube thing, that that was one of my biggest fears. It was just, like, putting myself out there. But I'm so used to, you know, putting myself out there. I went from, like, 43 to where I'm at now, like, almost 900. And it's been, what? It's been, like, a year? Like, just... It would have been a few months of me just being like, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're just going to Nike this. We Nike it. It's my Nike year. And this is one one check on my to-do list, my to-do goal list. Like, I, I got so much more. I'm doing so much behind the scenes. Like, I'm so excited. Like, now that I'm doing this YouTube, it's just like, okay, what's next? <laughs> what's next? So, yeah, friend, that spoke to me because it's just like, that's what I want in a relationship. I want somebody who I can just bounce ideas off of. We can come up with solutions. We can challenge each other. We can have debates. We just we're just a power couple, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're working together for the bigger purpose, like the future us. We're thinking about that. That's why I'd be like, I want somebody who is above my level. Like, on, like, okay, here, I'm on this level. I need you to be on the next level. Like, hey, come up here. Like, how can we get to the next level together above my level? Like, we can be on the same level, but we got thinking, we got to be on the, on the same wavelength of, oh, we're trying to elevate not even trying to elevate but are elevating we're going to elevate so let's let's do it let's make each other better you know i love that i love that for them the lipstick lady that's what we know for because the way she proposed y'all remember that proposal made her own lipstick for that is so like that makes that story so much more touching and romantic because that whole idea was from their first date together like yo this is what i want to do i want to work on this and like you can do better than that in fact let me help you do better and and then she made a lipstick oh, 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 i just can't i'm just sucker for romance that was so sweet so sweet like i love that for you friend i love that subscribe